Well, I'm here with Jason Wood, member for La Trobe, at the Beaconsfield Interchange on the Monash Freeway. Jason, why are we here? Um, fa first of all, Paul, fantastic to have you here today. Uh, the big issue in La Trobe is the huge growth in this area. And the problem we have with this area is when it was first built, it had two ramps, an on-off ramp, one either way, city bound and non-city bound. We need to complete that, basically, that the ramps which weren't constructed in the first place. And what that means is residents no longer need to drive down to Clyde Road, which has just become the absolute epicentre for traffic build-up. That means they can actually get off on this exchange and the other part of this project is O'Shea's Road. That then means O'Shea's Road can be extended. It allows local residents to avoid going and doing basically the, the rabbit wall and going around the area, going down Clyde Road. They can go on or off the exchange, get onto O'Shea's Road and miss all the traffic. And Jason, how does this fit with the announcement that the Turnbull government made just a few days ago that we would commit $500 million towards a billion dollar upgrade of the Monash if our 500 is matched dollar for dollar by the Victorian government. Well, can I say that it's just the best announcement ever. If I can first of all talk about the state government's proposal and where that is, is lacking locally, their proposal goes up to, to Clyde Road of, of one lane. Our federal proposal under Malcolm Turnbull, obviously yourself, if we're looking in front of us, we have the Monash there, our project goes from the Clyde Road right through the Cardini Road and extra lane. There's going to be such huge and enormous growth out here. Um, people will be impacted as these roads are built or the Monash is built. Let's do all in one go. And that's, that's what I say. We need to get the whole project in one go. Fantastic announcement and thank you so much. No worries. And Jason, you've been a, a very strong champion for this. You've been fighting for it for the entire life of the coalition government and I assume you're going to keep fighting until the project's delivered.